everyone's favorite online retailer, Amazon, just reported their quarterly earnings. And guess what? They are down big after hours. Down big. This uh, video won't be going up until the day after, so we'll see where, where it opens up um, next uh, today, actually, I guess, as it were, uh, where it'll open up today and how it'll trade. Um, I think it'll still consistently be down. So if we're looking at these results, uh, Gap EPS um, of $4.23 a share, which, again, still very good profit to be made there, very good profit. Um and a very big revenue beat, still up 23% uh, in terms of revenue, uh, beats by a billion, a billion, $1.26 billion. So uh, if we're looking, I mean, this is down 6.73% if we're looking for an accurate after hours. Um, and overall, I mean, this is one of the most popular stocks out there in the market, you know, I mean, five years of uh, up 500%, but... This past year has been pretty well just trading completely flat. Actually, 100% completely flat at this point. So that is certainly something to um, to consider. Uh, obviously, with the after hours, it's going to be now down uh, over the over the last year. So that is something to consider. Um, but obviously, very hot stock still. So it's it's very important to uh, to keep an eye out. So um, Topped high-end estimates with uh, net sales, but guided for a low low side for Q4, which obviously Q4 is huge because this is holiday season um, for all the retailers. Obviously, that are going to be going into Q4. Um, this is a time for them to be to be big and make big sales. You know, they want to make big sales over the holidays and Christmas. That's what they want to do. Net sales rose 24 percent to 70 billion. Uh, Q4 expect net sales of 80 billion. Uh, consensus was 87.2, and they forecasted for 80 between 80 billion and 86.5. So below estimates, obviously, um, as I mentioned before, any factor could bring a stock down. Overall, not an awful earnings report. Very good in terms of revenue, um, and still good profit. They just missed on the EPS line, but guidance is what brought this down. Um, Amazon Web Services net sales were 9 billion, below expectations. Uh, operating income fell so as far as why that happened um, in my perspective if you if you want uh, my consideration of of what happened regarding uh, that loss in profit I think honestly all of it can be attributed uh, to the change of to one day delivery now obviously there's a lot more that goes into logistics wise if you're looking at uh, a company that's now offering one day delivery as opposed to where previously they had two day um, a lot more goes into that a lot more you know employee payroll there's just a lot more to consider so I think that shift to one day shipping is really where they saw that last lo loss loss in profit um, so we'll go ahead and see how things go for the future so uh, before getting into this earnings call which I I'm gonna make it not too too long today um, just looking at the valuation of the company, still very highly valued company. Uh, Ford P of 53, uh, trailing P right now, trailing 12 months P E of 73. Still highly valued, very highly valued company. And you already know I'm going to look at debt and cash. A lot of lot of debt here, um, not a whole lot of cash, and a lot of that is just due to earnings history. Which overall, if you're you're considering this company, it's something that I think is is exciting for them uh, is their earnings history I mean there's a company that wasn't making you know all that much profit at all for the past you know three years I mean if we look at uh, earnings history here um, just pretty well enjoying a nice nice little steady increase here uh, in terms of in terms of beats here um, obviously nice uh, they've been posting very good earnings per share going on here obviously this last quarter they missed a little bit but overall they've been they've been growing so that's exactly what we're looking for um, you want consistent growth in terms of that and they're still growing and and making more profit so um, now we'll get into this uh, last piece of news that came out today as well um, 
Senators want FTC to probe into Amazon's uh, server security. Yeah, um, whether the tech giant failed to protect its servers before the Capital One hack earlier this year. So, again, it's kind of the government's, uh, the government's passion to destroy big companies, especially Miss Elizabeth Warren. We're just praying she does not, um, did not get the presidency because if she does, you're going to need to sell off all the, the stocks of your tech companies, so uh, all your big tech, because they will all be scrutinized and very harshly uh, penalized. We'll get into that another time, but regardless, um, of course they want them to probe this, and they're going to pin it all on Amazon for not doing everything. Obviously, they 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 have a lot of responsibility, and they need to absolutely... Um, take a lot of charge on this and actually make sure they're secure, but to an extent, I mean, uh, false attribu attributing is just, it's absurd. Okay, so let's get into this this earnings call. Um, that's right, free cash flow up. Again, they're, they're working on increasing that. I mean, this is a company that wasn't making money for the longest while, uh, and they're finally working on increasing that, increasing that cash flow, which is good. Um, obviously, that's what they want to do. Okay, uh, shares outstanding. Nothing too absurd here. Uh, personally, I prefer you know less shares outstanding. Obviously, uh, less shares outstanding means better valuation for for the stock. Um, net sales pretty steady increase. So obviously, Q4 is always going to be up for them, just because that's holiday season. Um, but if you look at you know quarter over quarter or, or year over year, that is a significant increase which is fantastic, 24% uh, year over year again as, as stated. That's exciting news. Um, net sales <clears throat> in total, look at that, gotta love it, gotta love this. I love them, love charts, you know it, I keep saying it every time. Operating income down, I uh, don't like that one a little bit. Um, again, I think some of that loss in profit uh, loss in income too is spending a little bit more on on payroll as well as uh, just development of the company. Obviously, they're opening a lot of new um, distribution centers too, and they have to if they want to get that one day shipping to actually be functioning super well, uh, a lot more efficient. They're going to need to open a lot of distribution centers, which they certainly are. Um, so they're going to continue that. So you might see a little bit of a hidden operating income for the next a uh, little while. Um, I'd say it probably they probably need at least. At least a year, uh, year or two, to actually get to where they need to be in terms of their um, their amount of distribution centers to be at a, a good point for that one day shipping and to potentially compete even further beyond that. We'll see how that goes. Um, again, as I've stated before, uh, Walmart has that advantage over Amazon, and just that the the amount of distribution centers they have and just the amount of locations they have in general. Uh, Walmart has that advantage in terms of in terms of this. Uh, they have the ability to do this one day shipping a lot easier than Amazon does at this point. Um, just is something to consider. So Amazon's going to obviously try to work on uh, improving that net income down 26%. Rough. Um, another good reason why the stock could be down. Obviously, you want net income increasing. Obviously, positive net income is still good, but you don't want to be decreasing what you're making up. Um, operating income down significantly. I mean, goodness, 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 goodness. We do like sales. Um, we love sales being up. <laughs> Amazon Web Service sales continuously increasing. That's very good for them in their cloud platform. Um, operating cash flow. That's right. So they are. I mean, they, they are increasing their cash flow. It's the most recent quarter between the two. They they decreased a little bit. Um, free cash flow increasing though. It's still still a good good thing to consider. Um, I will skip over here, uh, see if, hey look, we're back at the start. Um, so that's really all I have to show regarding that. Um, what happens to Amazon stock from here? It's a good question. Um, I think they've been pretty well hammered this entire year, so I think it's still going to trade relatively flat, but I think as far as what's going to go tomorrow, um, we're just going to see a downward of about 5% for the whole day most likely. So um, still not a stock I'm ready to purchase into yet. 
just the valuation's not there for me. Uh, obviously, one of the biggest biggest companies in the, in the in the world right now. Just that valuation is just just not quite there for me. It's getting there, um, and after this this drop, if it's somewhere around a 10% drop, I could see that valuation being justified. But right now, I'm a little scared. But hope you enjoyed.